what to wear on camera. Hi, my name is Michael, I'm a filmmaker and video coach, and today I'm gonna to give you all the lowdown on what you should or shouldn't wear when creating video content. So today we are talking about clothing and what you should or shouldn't be wearing when creating video content. And it comes down to the basic of things. You should always wear clothing that is plain. I mean, if you've got a bit of a personality and you're, you're known for wearing flowery tops, then I wouldn't want to take that away from anybody. Um, but be mindful that when you're creating content, you want to make sure that people are looking at you. And the only way they can do that is making sure that you're not diverting their attention elsewhere. Unless you have got some kind of branding where you are, for example, an interior designer and you're wacky and you've got bright green glasses uh, and you're known for wearing big flowery dresses uh, and, and T-shirts and do that. If that's your branding, then do that. If you If you are known to be someone who is eccentric, do that because you've built up that brand so it's it's completely fine to do that but if you're starting out in video and you're thinking what should I or what should I wear the key thing is you want to make sure that people are focusing on you so what I do is I just wear navy blue tops um, or black tops they're the two colors that I use because uh, blue uh, matches my branding um, and it matches my eyes so what you need to do is make sure that you are not wearing anything that's gonna take people's attention away. So you wanna make sure that the clothing that you choose is comfortable. If you're gonna be filming content um, in, in bulk and you're gonna be sitting in front of a camera for a long period of time, you wanna make sure that the clothing that you wear is comfortable and is breathable. So be mindful of those things so that when you are sitting in front of a camera with loads of lights, you're not gonna be uncomfortable at the same time. I always, try to stay away from anything that is branded because sometimes you might be wearing a brand that you like that doesn't resonate with somebody else so for example um if you're wearing a football shirt um not everybody's going to support your football club so therefore it's going to divide opinions now if you're making a video on a certain football club and you want to wear that that's absolutely fine nine times out of ten people watching that video or watching that content will probably support that football team hence why they would probably be watching that so you've just got to be mindful of you know what you wear does have an effect on your audience because if they don't like a certain brand they might disengage with your with your content because they don't like that they it's not something that that is true to their value. So make sure that when you are wearing clothing in front of camera, make sure that there are no logos because it just means that you're neutral and your personal choice of clothing uh, and what you believe in won't affect the audience watching your content. Another good thing to be mindful of when you're creating video is to not use any shiny material, anything that is going to cause a reflection. So that's anything with sequins or any materials that have a shine so that if you're using artificial lighting, it's not going to reflect that light back into the camera and then you're going to just be in complete glow. We don't want that at all. So be mindful of things like that as well. The most important thing is what image do you want to portray on camera? Me, I always want to be that professional. I want to be that person that people can trust. I want to be that person that someone goes, that person knows what he's talking about. Now, I could wear a tracksuit or I could just wear football tops or I could just wear um, a creased t-shirt. Um, all of this makes a massive difference. You want to make sure that when you are creating uh, video content, you want to make sure that you're coming across in the right way. And the best way to do that is to be thinking about what you are wearing. So for myself, I always wear a black top or a navy blue top. They're the two colours that I ever go to. I don't really choose anything else. My favourite colour is red, but it's not something I would want to wear on camera. I always like to make sure that I am consistent all the time wearing the same top. And if you go back to watch any of my previous videos, I will either be wearing a blue top 
or a black top. So be mindful. People will really look at that and go, wow, this person is consistent. I can trust him. Uh, and that is what you want when you are creating your video content. So I hope that this information has helped you. If you'd like any more hints and tips on how you can come across best on camera, then don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.